Marco, known as Jordan23 to the wonderful world of AOC, is a player who everyone should know. His favourite meal is steamed broccoli with chicken breast, and he is currently 21 years old. Having a random map rating of 2560 makes him one of the top rated players we have today, and again, can be debated as one of the best active players we have. His favourite animal is a dog, as he loves how they interact with humans, and that they appreciate you for who you really are. Jordan23 first got into AOC when he was between 11 and 12, and he loved watching his older brother play computer games. The two his brother would play the most were AOC and StarCraft. Jordan23 started playing both of them quite often, but he realised he needed to pick one if he wanted to get good, and he picked AOC because he enjoyed the randomness of it compared to StarCraft. Jordan23 was helped along by quite a few players, some better skilled and some equal skilled, who would play with quite often just to try and get his mechanics up. Someone who really helped him understand Arabia Hun Wars, therefore kind of taught him the basic settings of AOC was Prayers, uh, also known as Barris. According to Jordan23, he had this to say, he is still a great friend of mine because I am really thankful for what he has done for me. I really appreciate that he spent so much time with me, even though I was clearly not at his level at the time. Yet he would train me, and he really helped me improve. That combined with the fact that I am a person who improves really fast just by playing against better players. So when you combine these two facts, it's no surprise how fast I improved. Jordan23 loves to play on pretty much every map in the game, as he believes it's a variation of the game which makes it so much fun, and the amount of skills you need to be able to play and adapt on different maps. However, if you had to pick a favourite, it would be Desert Arabia. His least favourite maps are the ones where you don't start off with a scout, or having a scout which isn't a scout, such as a monk or a hunting wolf, as lame and luck factors are too high. As of that, Mega Random can be kind of annoying, so he doesn't like playing that too much, and naturally off that as well, you've got Salt Marsh and Rivers, just maps that are generally unfair. He has many favourite civilizations to play as, naturally the standard, Huns, Mongol, Viking, and out of the irregular civs, Koreans. Jordan23 usually plays with friend foe colours on, so naturally his favourite colour to play with comes as no surprise, blue. Jordan23 has earned a place as one of the best AOC players around, meaning that all of his skills are on an exceptional level. Out of them though, his macro is a skill that seems to scare most people. He often win games just because his opponent will be unable to keep up with the fact that his macro is as tight as it can be, while he's microing other units on the other side of the map. While Jordan23 was still improving his game, he looked up to players like Chris, Doubt, Wrath, and B-Virus. At the beginning, when he was only playing Arabia, just only, just to learn the mechanics of AOC, he looked up mostly to Wrath and B-Virus, as they were basically known for their Arabia skills, and he just loved watching them play. Chris and Doubt, obvious legends who have dominated the scene. If Jordan23 could have one player come back to play against, it would be Prey, the guy who helped him at setting up all the basics he had for AOC. He'd also love to have KCAP a bit more active, as Jordan23 considers him an AOC god, and that Jordan was able to learn so much from him. As Jordan said about KCAP, he's a real genius. Jordan23 remembers trying to improve, and how long it took him to hit 1.8k and maintain that level. He felt he played good, better than 1.8k, but just had problems with constant performance. When asked about when he started to feel himself improving, Jordan had this to say, I remember participating in the FC1, first of China tournament. Beginning with the group stages, I had to play versus Abe, Hyun, and Siva. All of these guys were around 2k, and me clearly being the dark horse that group. I remember surprising everyone in that tournament. I managed to win two games versus Abe in the first round, losing 3-2, winning both Chen and Siva with 3-1, which was a huge deal for me. That was beyond my expectations. And all of a sudden, I also achieved a 2k rating within 3 days with a 15-2 win streak. That was the time I realised I have made a big step forward in terms of improving. Jordan has many rivals being at the top of the scene. All top experts will always be his rivals because they're constantly fighting for the better spot. The biggest rival is the Viper though. On the top of the Viper, as a rival of Jordan23, I asked him what he had to say and this is what he said. He is my best friend in the scene and we kind of feel like brothers. We know each other so perfectly, it's hard to mind trick each other. Once we battle, it is more about who is getting the better map and who has the better day, as we are pretty much equal skill levels if we judge by the peaks. Jordan23's AOC career has been quite full of tournament wins, some of those being first place in the AOKH Open Tournament, first place in the Civ Cup 2011, finishing as top 10 in Brain Champion Cup, and winning the Dream Team match between the Brain Champion Cup 3 with Doubt, Tint, and Tim. However, he thinks his best win was the Land No More Tournament, which was played recently, and he won that with the Team Tyrant, with a convincing win streak of 22-3. Jordan23 has left his mark on the ASC world, being one of the main developers of the 1TC plus full cavalry archer in a Hun war, where he found the right timings for raiding and researching the important upgrades. He can also be considered as the innovator of the militia rush in Imp with Goss. On that note, I asked him if there was any games that he thought really stood out and that he remembered. His answer was, I had played plenty of those. I remember killing a 2k with Goss in late Imp with just militia, him being Celts, and that was a pretty funny game. Uh, I think the duration was around 1 hour and 30 minutes, 
and by the end I had about 150 to 80, 800 kill loss ratio, yet I managed to win. I also remember having a great Ara as war against uh, Patton like two years ago. I also had a great Bias War and Arabia against Matt aka TSC, a blade. I also remember two long games against Hanny aka Ruff, I need her when I was in Ruff. He killed my base in Castle and he expanded his economy kind of in the center of the map. I tried to evacuate my economy and build to the sides, therefore I kind of had the sides of the map and him being the center. I managed to raid from five, five and six different places and he had to face it and resign. That was really tough. Those games were important to me and they showed me that you shouldn't ever resign too fast. We've been getting a little bit of a peek into the personality of the player with a question I've been asking at the end. When asked if you were going to be stuck on an island, what three things would you take to entertain yourself? Jordan23 answered, a basketball, a great girl with a good personality, and a ton of watermelons.